LED stuff on the on the score tables, and uh, I've kind of looked at a little bit of those recently, just what they run. And so, what do they run? Half of this, I mean, the the part that we're sitting at is I don't know how long that is. Anyway, I, that's at least 20, 25. Wow, golly bum. Yep. The things we have and the things that uh, are made available. She, uh, one of the ladies from Seminole, was asking me a while ago if I'd seen mule shoes, uh, and I haven't. But uh, she said it was quite nice. So mm. uh, I don't know what they've got exactly, but uh, apparently the mules have come into some money uh, somewhere along the way. Well, or something. And you look at the Seminole scoreboard, and it fits in this gym, this size. Yeah. But you put that in any right. other gym that's a little bit smaller, and it would just be overwhelming. They're so we could go with a little smaller okay. one. The height in their gym is probably double what ours is, I'd say, close to it. Maybe mm -hmm. not double, but... It's certainly half again taller than ours. So, uh, and that scoreboard's probably like, eh, I don't know, I'd say 15, 18 feet wide and probably 12 feet tall, something like that. It's pretty big. Let's take a 60 second break. We'll be back courtside here, Hereford and San Elizorio. Coming up in a minute, we're back in 60 seconds. Stars. Serving my country in the military and about with colon cancer, I got a new start right here at Emerald College. Great program, great faculty, star gear, go anywhere. Texas. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Welcome back. Daniel at the helm back at home tonight. We're glad you're with us here. Coach Kitten uh, going over the school book here. Cindy's, we've had a little bit of confusion over some numbers they gave us and some numbers that are real. But uh, San Elizario, they were the second place finishers in their district. They're 19 and 15 on the season. I really couldn't find, uh, well, I found one common opponent. I believe Monahan's is the only common opponent. Uh, I think we played those guys. I'm not sure. They lost decisively to Monahans, But, um, you know, we've got to be on our game here today if we're going to advance on into what would be the regional uh, quarterfinals, the third round of the playoffs, uh, if the Whitefaces can get a victory here tonight. Canyon's playing uh, over at Andrews, I believe, is where they're playing. And uh, the Whitefaces... Uh, uh, other district, uh, West Plains. Now, I think they and Canyon are both playing at Andrews tonight. We've talked about this place before. Uh, you're probably familiar with it through the years. Uh, it hasn't changed much except <laughs> it's just a handsome facility. Black and gold, that's their school colors. All chairback seats on the home side. I counted a moment ago about a 1,000 seats over there. Uh, bleacher seats back behind us. And we've talked about the scoreboard. I mean, it's just a great place to play, Coach. Yeah. I used to come here uh, several years and did a, a volleyball camp, and I just loved coming here. The people were nice and kind and generous, and um, it, it was just it was a fun place to be. And we would come to a volleyball tournament here, too, for yeah. a lot of years as well, and it was a good place to host a tournament. They would These bleachers that are behind us, they would fold those up, and there would be another court back there. Then they've got one at the end of a long hallway. Wow. Um, that they, that's, a, you know, another, it's a smaller gym, but it's a nice gym. Has a set of bleachers on one side, and it's it's a good place to play, too. So it's a, it's a heck of a deal. And it's it's they've always been very gracious when it comes to hosting us and trying to get us set up for, for playoff games along the way. Was there a... What up, <laughs> <Strines>? <laughs> It is. The, <laughs> the Strines are here. They've come all the way over from Denver City, made the 20-mile trip. Uh, <laughs> Good to see Kyle and Jennifer. 
the white face did was there some sort of an incident here what once when you were coaching with the a bus. There were a lot of incidents. A bus. A bus and maybe an awning or something. Was that Maybe here? a small bus. Maybe. <laughs> a, small, a small bus and an awning that I thought was taller than it was. <laughs> and as I, pull, as I pull up to check out of the Seminole Inn, the top of the small bus hits the top of the awning, hit, hits the awning, the bottom of the awning. Yeah. And I look in the mirror at all of our kids, and all of them, all you can see is their eyes because their faces are down <laughs> below the back of the seats. And I finally said, it's okay to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know a few of them who still remember that really well. Uh, I, I think they were short of snorkel one year, too. We, I had a fit with a snorkel at one point. <laughs> I don't know where well, that ended I up. I can't imagine that again. But, uh, <laughs> it all sound like tall tales to me. Well, the White Face is, uh, again, 20 and 10 now in the season. Uh, we were the fourth place seed out of our district, as you know. Uh, seven, uh, pardon me, uh, San Alizario was second. Uh, again, Randall and, and West Plains and Canyon. West Plains and Canyon both playing teams that I think they'll handle. Uh, tonight uh, this afternoon and tonight so you know uh our district's pretty darn good uh, as we've talked before at yep. everything yes yes in indeed and you know the wrestling is just the most recent sport which in which a state champion randall was crowned in boys wrestling and so it it's a it is and it's as frustrating as it is sometimes to be in a in a district where you feel sometimes like you might be just playing your guts out to get forth yeah. There's good things that happen if you do because yeah. uh, it, it certainly makes you better. And ask, I mean, you know, I, I know we played some volleyball in Andrews this year, and that's one of the things that the coaches were talking about in Andrews. They're like, golly, we just wish we didn't have to see y'all yeah. first round, <laughs> you know, see anybody from sure. from our district. Well, we'll take another 60-second break. Be back courtside. Herford and San Elizario starting here in just about six or seven minutes. Back in 60. For generations, First Bank Southwest has been there to help the working hands that have shaped this great land. Chances are we helped your father, his father, and even his father. We understand for some, a handshake is a stronger bond than a piece of paper. And even though times can be tough, folks around here are tougher. And that's why we're as proud of our panhandle roots as you are. First Bank Southwest, moving your generation in the right direction. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Are you tired of restless nights spent tossing and turning? You could be struggling with a sleep disorder. Hereford Regional Medical Center's sleep study can diagnose more than 80 different sleep disorders, helping you get a better night's sleep and better health. Ask your primary care provider about a sleep study with Hereford Regional Medical Center and learn more at dschd.org sleep. All right, back here courtside, Tom and Brenda, Hall of Fame coach, five-time state champion, all that stuff. I, I feel like I need to introduce you like they do Troy each time, you know, so <laughs> everybody remembers. Uh, and by the way, this is a little aside, but I, I know all of us do. I know I do. I feel better that Jimmy has been brought back as an advisory coach uh, you know, this is, in case you're wondering, another ploy by Jerry to make you think he's doing something when, in fact, uh, he's not. Well, what Jerry's doing is playing in Ford truck commercials, too, and I don't <laughs> care for that at all. If Ford needs to reconsider that deal. <laughs> I, I do. I, at first, I was like, who is it? And then it was Jerry Jones. <laughs> and I thought, gosh, dogs. Yeah. Sometimes you can just have, you know, too much... Uh, too much of a, a bad thing, I'd say. That's what I, I described that. Well, I'm going to send a little shout out to Coach Delosier, too. Coach, uh, he and Michelle are down in Brady watching uh, uh, Dodge make his coaching debut with the baseball team down there. Uh, his first coaching job. And, uh, oh, uh, the other side. I mean, he, <laughs> in fact, I was talking to Peyton Gonzalez about that a minute ago, just about, you know, what it's like to have recently been a player and be on the sideline and he said he thought he'd done a better job this year of being a little calmer on the sideline because you know he said tom it really doesn't make any difference how upset you get uh what makes the difference is how well you play so uh but peyton and 
Hunter, both uh, former white faces, Coach Bell, Coach Brown. The officials are from Lubbock here tonight, not the same officials. In fact, none of the same officials we had last Tuesday night in out of that Lubbock chapter. But uh, but one of those fellows, I think, has also was maybe in the Amarillo chapter. Oh, really? The okay. one who came over and kind okay. of talked to us a little bit. Right. The other the other two fellows I haven't seen. Okay. Them. All right. Well, they're, they're set and ready to go, ready to meet with the captains and all that sort of stuff that we do. Uh, Coach Delosier, I wanted to finish that, too. His uh, – Coach Delosier played at UT Arlington, and uh, they're having a reunion of their football team from, he would have played there in the mid 80s. And uh, they're gonna be introduced, I believe, at a UTA basketball game uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night. So that is cool. Yeah, That's it is good. cool. Coach, Coach Delosier, uh, he'll probably get the loudest round of applause, I would imagine, I don't know. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll, like, and a lot of it'll be from Michelle. It will, it will, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they'll be able to hear Michelle for sure. <laughs> Whiteface fans back behind us, there's uh, a fairly good number of them. Uh, I, I'm not casting any stones at San Elizario. This is just, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 14 or 15. Yep, uh, yep, that's about it on the San Elizario side. The PA announcer uh, taking care of some of those. Uh, duties right now so we're going to pause for a minute 30 seconds we'll be back courtside in a minute and a half when life's unexpected moments happen you can rest easy knowing prairie insurance is on your side prairie insurance will listen to you and help tailor a policy to meet your needs they offer multiple insurance products including home auto business and farm insurance with the knowledge to make sure you're covered Ethan Gonzalez out first, a junior. Diego Ornelas out second. Ty Duque, number 11. Diego Villegas, one of the four seniors for the White Faces. Juan Bermudez, the fifth and final starter. Juan had a big game Tuesday night, 6-3, maybe 6-4. And... Uh, He's really come on as the years go along. They're about to introduce uh, San Helizario's Eagles. They, uh, well, I don't know. Cindy's got me a lineup here, but I'm not sure. I've not got a number three on my program, Coach. Who is that? Three is... Omar Freer. Yeah, okay. Okay. Again, they're size wise, uh, they're about the same size we are, quite honestly. I wouldn't say there's much difference at all in the starting five. They're in the blue, white, and gold. White faces in the black with the maroon and white trim. And we're set to play some basketball here. The area championship between the Hereford White Faces and San Elizario's Eagles. Again, uh, scoreboard the huge scoreboard we talked about they had a flag on it uh, play flying during the national anthem and then there's another flag hanging at mid floor i wasn't sure which one i was supposed to watch but uh, i looked back and forth what i finally did 
But we're ready to play here. The White Faces out there. It'll be uh, Juan at midcourt jumping for the White Faces. Again, uh, Juan moved in just this past year, played basketball, uh, football for the White Faces. Diego Martinez is jumping against him. Juan tips it back, and we wind up with the ball. Ty's got it, and here we go. White Face basketball there in a man-to-man. -man. Ty at midcourt now getting banged around a little bit, but nothing happening. Stops his dribble, gets it knocked away, gets it back. Still double team, triple team, wow. Cross court now to Diego Villegas. Diego goes down on the baseline. Inside to tie, ball taken away by the Eagles. And back the other way we go. First turnover of the night. And uh, Hinojosa has the ball in the court court. Hinojosa on the outside to Cruz. Down low they work it. In the lane, turn around, jumper. Good, and a foul. Well, they got uh, the post uh, that time. Miguel Rivera, the junior, he got it. About the top of the key, uh, about the uh, free throw line, turned and went to the bucket. We tried to stop him. Diego uh, Ornalis did, but he got a foul and it's two to nothing and a chance for uh, the big uh, post to make it uh, three to nothing. Again, he's about six three or four. He, he makes the free throw. It's three nothing now. Again, they're in the man to man, very aggressive. Let's see what the white faces do. Tie in the back court to Diego. Diego back to tie. Got to worry about the 10 seconds. He gets it ahead now in the forecourt. Ty's got it open for a three, but doesn't take it. Takes it in traffic instead. My loses goodness. the ball underneath. Foul. Two free throws for Diego Arnalis. Wow. If it's going to be this aggressive. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ty just got hammered going in the lane. No whistle. Diego Arnalis got off the shot and drew the foul, and he'll shoot two. It's 3 nothing. San Elizario. First one's good, three to one. 7.02 left in this opening quarter here in Seminole. White face is down by two, but one more free throw now for Diego. Up it goes, and he missed it. Rebound off to the white faces. Diego, and Diego has it taken away. Diego Villegas got the rebound, but had it taken away. That's two turnovers on the white faces immediately here in this ball game. In the backcourt now, Ty. They pass it ahead in the forecourt to the top of the circle, working around the perimeter, have a three, but don't take it. Long three from the top of the circle. It's up and good. The bucket belongs to Cruz, and it is six to one. Herford handles the press now. Diego Ornelas in the forecourt. Inside to Viegas. Viegas turn around, jumper in the lane, no good. Rebound off to the Eagles. They lead six to one, 6.24 left first quarter. And they start up the floor with uh, Hinojosa with the ball. Hinojosa with tie on him, gets a little pick out front, takes it in the lane, forces and misses the shot, but we tipped it last. It'll still be their ball. Oh, this is starting out rough. It is, it is. Oh it's goodness. rough, it's rough, rough. Uh, they inbound the ball now. Stolen by the white faces. Back the other way comes Ethan Gonzalez. They heading out of tie. Tie to the bucket, shot up. My gosh, oh, wow. no foul. He was knocked to the floor. Wow, Ornalis to tie. I thought I'd seen some rough basketball this year. This is the winner so far. Oh, there's another turnover. That face is a bad pass. Shot no good, rebound off to tie. Out of bounds off of San Elizario. Well, we've turned it over. That was just a really sloppy pass that time. Six to one, 5.45 left in the quarter. White faces with the ball in the backcourt. And the Eagles just blew a layup there. Ty ready to put it in play now, and he'll do so to Ethan. Back to Ty. Now they're in a little zone press. Back to Ty up near midcourt. Fires it ahead now to Viegas. Diego, jumper from 15 feet. It's good. Six to three. Back in, up above us here. Here's Ty down. The backcourt, a lot of contact here. In the forecourt now. Finally, the ball is a timeout call by San Elizario. 5.18 left, first quarter. They lead 6-3, to three, back in 30 seconds. This is down 6-3. to three. I'm telling you, we've had one foul on each side, and... Uh, 
it's rough, Coach. I don't know how else to describe it. Well, you know, you just you have to adjust no matter what, yep. especially when exactly. you're in the playoffs. You don't know what is typical, like we learn in when we're in your own district with the same association that call in that you've had call in, and you do have to make adjustments. But I'm telling you, it, there is contact. I mean, offensively and defensively. Yeah. Well, pushing I, off all over the place. I thought that time it was pretty obvious to me with Ty and the full court pressure, he has realized what you can do. Yes, and he was, yes. <laughs> it was pretty physical on his part. All right, here we go. Eagles ball. They're up by three. They inbound it to the corner. Take a three. The lefty shoots it. It's nowhere near the mark, but the rebound comes back to the Eagles. Missed again. Rebound Bermudas. Ahead now to Ty. Ty quickly down the floor. Throws it long. It's intercepted. Fourth white face turnover. Here's the breakaway shot up and good. Bucket that time by Diego Martinez, and it's eight to three. That's four turnovers we've had in three minutes of play. Up the floor now, the white faces get it to Diego Villegas in the corner. Now the white faces try to turn it over again, but they won't take it. In and out on the three point shot. Bermuda's up, no good, tipped up and in by Ethan Gonzalez. Great play. 8-5, Ethan just went up and slapped it back up on the miss. 4.32 left first quarter, White faces down by three. Eagles in the fourth court now working ahead. Got it outside, out on the point with the ball, Tenahosa. Tenahosa working first to his right, then his left. Gives it off now to the post. They've got Rivera way outside. Again, they're well outside the three-point line. Ball almost stolen by the White faces. Rivera shoots a three, it's good. Wow, Rivera, I don't the think two. they wanted to take that shot, but they've made two threes now, and the White Faces trail 10 to five. Here comes Ty, Ty's foul this time by uh, Cruz, Juan Cruz, Juan Cruz. Second foul against uh, the Eagles, one against the White Faces, 3.55 left first quarter, White Faces. Down 10 to 5, inbounding the ball. Ethan Gonzalez to Brylin. And here we go. Brylin quickly in the forecourt. Down on the baseline, it goes to Ty. Underneath, off the glass and in. That's Diego Villegas with the bucket. 10 to 7. White faces down by 3. Up the floor now. Rivera, the big post, got to handle the ball. Comes across midcourt, throws it back out to Hinojosa. And they'll set it up leading by three with 3.29 left. Looking at their scores, they've been very deliberate, very low scores, but not this first period here. Here's another three-point try from the left. It's no good. Rebound to Bermudez. White faces down by three, come up the floor quickly. Ahead now to Brylin. Brylin takes it to the baseline, shoots about a 15-footer. It's no good. Rebound off to, oh, a double dribble goes uncalled. Now all the way down, laid it up and in. That's Hinojosa. 12-7 now, back the other way come the white faces. Tie ahead to Ethan, inside to Viegas. Viegas travels. 2.54 left in the quarter, Herford trailing by five. It's Eagles ball in the backcourt. They get ready to put it in play. Pretty frantic pace so far, Coach. Yeah, with, without a doubt. There's not, uh, there's not been much deliberate offense no. on either side. Brandon in the ball game. Brandon Gonzalez up the floor now. There's a push off. <laughs> Doesn't get called in the forecourt quickly. Now we've got him trapped. Ball turned over. Ty comes up with it. Three on two. Ty gets it off now. They get it down low. Bermudez off the glass. 12 9. Nice fast break bucket. Herford trails by three. 235 left in the quarter. In the backcourt. Eagles basketball. Good defense by Viegas again. They push off on him twice. Down the far sideline now to the baseline. Nothing there. Back out front. They'll set it up. 2-11 left in the quarter. 12-9 the lead for San Elizario. Outside now. They get it to the big guy, Rivera. Rivera gives it back. Now they're in a little bit of a delay game here. The white faces in the man-to-man. -man. Eagles very, very cautious. Go to Rivera out to the top of the circle. He goes down the lane, loses the ball, and charges. White faces get the ball. Good play by Viegas. Rivera completely out of control that time. He'd already turned the ball over, but uh, he got whistled for the foul. They're third. 156. If you foul in this game, you really want to foul. Yeah. 
Ty ready to put it in play. Whiteface is bringing Marcos in now. So it's Acosta along with uh, Brylan, uh, Nick Torres, Ty, and Brandon. 154 and counting in the first quarter. The Whiteface is down by three. Ty up near midcourt. Left side pass to Brandon. Brandon in the corner to Brylan, back to Ty. Ty back inside now to Brylan. Tries to go down low to Marcos. Oh. Wow. 139. He, Marcos had Come a in. guy under his did. leg. He did. No foul. Inbounds in the backcourt now. Hanahosa. He's getting pressure from Brylan. Comes up near midcourt. He's trapped over there on the far side, but gets it back cross court. They work it in the corner, shoot the three, miss the three, rebound off to the Eagles, take it back, fire it down low, stolen by Ty, picked up by Marcos, fires it out now to Nick. Nick comes down the floor, two on three. He gets hit, and the ball turned back over, taken back away by the white faces. Ty off to Brandon, to Brylin, to Ty for three from the corner. It's no good. Rebound to the white faces. Now knocked loose, but saved by Brandon, still loose. Finally, the Eagles come up with the ball. A minute left in the first quarter, a three-point lead for San Elizario. Up the floor they come. Pressure from Brandon Gonzalez. Cross court now to Hinojosa, down in the corner, shoot another three. It's no good. Rebound inside, a foul on the Eagles as they have brought uh, their tallest player, uh, Garcia, into the ball game. He went over the back. Herford's ball down by three. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. Nick ready to put it in play. I think he's wanting to know who the foul was on. It's on 21. 21, it was. Yep, he's got it. Ref on this side said 24. I would have taken that, but 24 oh, yeah. is not on the floor. <laughs> so uh, it is 21 that we mentioned, that's Garcia who's off the bench. White faces with Torres and Duque, Lopez, Brandon Gonzalez, and Marcos Acosta down by three. Fired ahead now to Brandon. They quickly get on him, but he gets free in the corner. Brylin for three, we need one to go. Nope, but we get the rebound and come back out. Ty, the top of the circle, spins about a 12 footer, it's good. Oh my gosh, Ty gets run over. After 12-11, Herford down by one. Wow. Here's Hinojosa in the backcourt. Forecourt, he goes all the way down. He's fouled. That face has put a hand on him. That was uh, Nick Torres. 12-11, one-point lead for San Elizario. 13.9 seconds left in the first quarter. Mm. I don't know what we're doing here. San Elizario, it's their ball. They've got one guy back on the other end of the floor. They've got the ball, 11.9 <laughs> seconds left. And they throw it away and you get it right back. Hinojosa now with nine seconds to play. Hinojosa, the top of the circle. In the corner, back to Hinojosa. He shoots a long three, it's no good. Rebound off to no one. Buzzer sounds 12-11. A lead for San Elizario at the end of one quarter. We're back in one minute. The ball to begin the quarter. Again, uh, contact basketball here at its finest. If you're watching at home, uh, Anastasia and Adam bringing you all those shots. Uh, 
you have seen kind of just how tough it is both ways. All right, Eagles inbounded with a one point lead to begin the second quarter, and here we go. Firo with the ball at midcourt, Brandon on him, and he pushes off and they call it. <laughs> That's been happening with great regularity. Exactly. And that time he got called. Good job by Brandon to draw the foul. Well, let's see if we change tempos here with the officials. With the outside now, that's Ty with the ball. Herford down by a point. Brandon on the left side. Brandon down the corner now to Ethan. Back out to Ty. Marcos down low. Brandon, baseline. Back inside Ty. Ty turns, loses the ball, gets it, throws it away. And it is Eagles ball. Well, we get in that little tight confines in there. And Ty's getting kind of hammered. Tried to make a pass. Made too much of a pass, honestly. Ball's turned over. Inbounds in the backcourt now. Here's Hannah Hose up to midcourt, fires it ahead. Now they've got the advantage in the corner. They don't shoot. Oh, a travel. Herbert gets it back. That time, uh, the Eagles, uh, Diego Martinez. 12-11, white faces trail. Herbert's ball in the backcourt, inbounds to tie. And Duque comes up the floor. Midcourt now, picked up there by Fierro. Fires it off to Brown. Rollin in the corner to Ethan. Ethan gives it back to Ty. Ty is trapped there. He gets free in traffic, puts the shot up, draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Ty will go to the line with Her Herford trailing 12-11, 7-10 left in the first half. We have not made a three, folks. Didn't make one the other night. Haven't made one so far here today. We just need one or two to fall just to kind of give us a little lift. Ty makes the free throw. It's tied at 12. He can give Herford the first lead of the afternoon with the second free throw here. 7-10 left in the half. Herford and San Elizario here in Seminole today in the area championship. Ty makes them both. 13-12 Herford. Full court pressure now. In the backcourt. Ball taken away and then back to the Eagles it comes. Wow. Twice they've been really lucky. Seven minutes left in the half now. Hinojosa across midcourt. Works to his left. Stops his dribble. Throws it. Almost threw it away. Garcia got it back. Now a little trouble for the Eagles here trying to run their offense. Hinojosa goes to the baseline. Passes back outside. Gets the return pass. Tries to go baseline. Good defense by Brandon. Herford with a one-point lead. And the Eagles struggling right now to find some offense. 6.35 left in the half. Right side pass. Back inside. There's a charge. White faces get the ball. Big post. Garcia just barreled into uh, Brylin. Perfect ball. One point lead. 6.28 left in the half. Ethan inbounds it to Ty. Fierro quickly on him. Ty gives it back to Ethan. Midcourt to Brylin. Brylin's foul. Well, we, I mean, it's changed. It's it 180. It, it just, yep. yeah. 180. I mean, that was a little contact on their part. That's their third foul, fourth foul of the quarter. Mm -hmm. White faces now 622 left in the half. We lead 13 to 12 and have the ball. Tie with it. They're in the, a zone with the big, big post out on the point. Left side pass now. Ty, oh my gosh, he's fouled, but they don't call it. Juan gets the rebound, and he's fouled, and they do call it. 6.01 left in the half. Juan with the miss. Ty got hammered on the arm, I thought, as he shot, but no foul. 6.07 left in the half. Juan with two free throws. Herford with a 13-12 lead. The big junior puts the first one up. It's no good. They bring... Uh, Rivera back in. Again, Rivera probably 6'3", 200 pounds. He's a good-sized kid. 6'07", left in the half. Herford up by one. Bermuda's second free throw makes it, and it's 14 to 12. Again, the full-court pressure from the white faces continues. Rivera can't get it in. And it's, oh, my gosh, it's loose. Now, finally, they come up with it. Throw it away again. Rivera to the bucket down low. Back outside, down low, Rivera underneath, nice pass shot, missed, rebound off to the white faces. 
Back the other way we go. Ethan across midcourt. Down the corner. Outside to Juan. He goes to the bucket. Gets blocked. They call it. Oh, my God. Call a travel on Juan. All right, 14 12. Herford by two. 5.49 left in a rugged first half. And the Santa Rosario cheerleaders are already here. <laughs> Inbounds in the backcourt. They break the pressure. Fire it ahead in the corner. Shoot the three. It's nowhere near the mark. Rebound off to Brylin. Back the other way goes Ty. One on two. Ty. And they call a charge on Ty. 5.36 left in the half. He made the bucket, but it does not count. 16-14-12, uh, Herford by two. And it is uh, Eagles basketball in the backcourt. Inbound it now. Rivera's got it. Passes to Hinojosa, who's trapped. Back to Rivera. Up the floor now to Fierro. Back to Rivera. And they get it across just in the nick of time. Herford by two, 5.20 left first half. Eagles outside on the right side, around the perimeter. Get it to Rivera, he's got it well outside, he gives it back to Fierro. 5.10 left in the half. Right side pass now goes to Hinojosa. Hinojosa against the white faces, man to man. Hinojosa, right side pass for Rivera. Back inside, shot off the glass and in. Hinojosa. Just kind of threw up a hope and a prayer, but it went in. 4.52 left in the half. We're tied. Diego Ornelas down on the baseline out of the Viegas. Viegas. He's fouled. He'll shoot two. Six fouls against them with 4.44 left in the half. You wonder what the conversation was like yes. between the officials after the first quarter. Yes, yep, exactly right. All of a sudden, it has just yeah. kind of flipped. That's and they're going to have to – guys are going to have to – really worked yeah. hard at pulling back. I mean, because nearly every foul this quarter so far, everybody's looked like, what? Here's Diego. This is the first free throw. 14 all. 4.44 left <laughs> in the first half. The White Faces with a chance to reclaim the lead here. Diego Villegas could put us up by one. And he does. 15-14. Again, Rivera against the pressure, gets the return pass. Rivera's going to bring it up now. He's got Ethan on him. Rivera stops his dribble, throws it ahead to Fierro, who travels, gets away with it, and a foul now on Diego Ornelas. White face his second foul of the quarter, 433 left in the half. The travel situation has just changed in basketball tremendously. Inbounds now for the Eagles. They trail by one, 433 left in the first half of play. Rivera on the outside now, around the perimeter, down the baseline. Good defense again by the White Faces and a travel. Defense by Juan Bermudez that time caused the travel. Tie back in. And uh, Ornelas gets a breather. Full court pressure again by uh, the Eagles. Again, they're in the, they're in the foul shooting situation. Herbert breaks the press. Fires it ahead to Bermudez off the glass and in. Great pass by Brylon Lopez. 17 to 14, Herford. There's the ball knocked away on the inbounds play, but knocked out of bounds. Three point Herford lead, 4.05 left in the first half. Inbounds now in the backcourt to Cruz. Cruz is trapped back there. He needs some help. Ty steals it. Ty steps out of bounds. 3.59 left in the half, but the white face is just all over him defensively. 3.59 till intermission, Herford up by three. Inbounds to Cruz, back to Rivera. Ahead now to Fierro, stolen by the White Faces. Down low to Brylin, he's fouled, he'll shoot two more. Brylin couldn't make the layup, but he drew the foul. And the White Faces full court pressure, paying dividends, coach. Yeah, it, it's, you, you talked about it just being so, Fast and furious yep. early on. It is still fast and furious, but you just can't foul like you did. Ryland misses the free throws. We've oh. not done a very good job there. We lead by three. But that's, I believe, our third miss at the free throw line. 17 14 Herford makes one of the two. 18 14 White Faces. Cruz in the backcourt. Ahead to Hinojosa at midcourt. 
He throws it long inside, off the glass and in. The bucket by Garcia as they beat the press that time. It's a two-point Erford lead as Ty comes up the floor. Piero picks him up, passes it off to Bryland. Bryland in the corner to Juan, back to Bryland. Outside, thrown away, and the white oh, no, 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 no. No. Wow. No, it was the other guy. It was. The Eagles touched the ball, but they get it back. Wow. Hinojosa now, 325 left in the half, over with a two-point lead in the fourth court. Rivera's got it. Rivera off to Fierro, back to Rivera. And Rivera going to shoot two this time. Bryland gets called for the foul. I thought Rivera could have gotten another charge there. I, I sure thought he did, too. I mean, it was almost like there was a second, a full yep. second, where everything just sort of stopped. Bryland stayed put, and uh, but drew the foul anyway. So Rivera will shoot two. His team trailing by two. 3.15 left first half. He shoots and makes. 18-17. White faces up a point. Again, the area championship here with the winner meeting Randall in the regional quarterfinal. Second free throw for Rivera. Up it goes, and he made them both. We're tied at 18. A couple of subs in for... The Eagles, Herford ready to put it in play. We're going to get full court pressure now by San Elizario. Again, any foul is a two-shot foul. Ty's got it. Gives it back to Ethan. Ethan starts up the floor. Fires it ahead now to Diego. Off to Juan. Juan is fouled. He'll shoot two more. 3.05 left in the half. Tied at 18. Two free throws for Juan Bermudez. We're doing a good job against the press. We have not, they fouled us severely enough. We've not been able to score. And again, haven't shot the free throws, just great. Juan with two chances here. Up it goes, it's good. 19-18, Herford, 3.05 left first half. Just one bucket for the white faces. This, wow. it, that is anything but a free throw, one field goal. Second chance now for Juan. Up it goes, and he made them both. Herford by two. In the backcourt now. Ball thrown away. Herford's ball. Ty got on Hinojosa, made him throw it before he wanted to. We have another game that follows our game. I don't know who, but uh, there will be a second game here today. Herford by two with the ball. 3.02 left in the half. Inbounds, it comes down to Bryland. He's got it out the top of the circle. Right side pass to Ty. Ty heads to the bucket. Nobody there, and they foul him. He'll shoot two more. 2.53 left in the quarter. And the fouls are piling up. They've got nobody with more than two. They've got, no, they've got one with uh, three. Two, three with two. So, uh, white faces. Going to the line here, leading 20 to 18. Duque with two free throws. Misses the first. 20 to 18. We did such a good job at the line on Tuesday night, but uh, not so much here in the first half today. Two point lead. Ty can make it three now as the junior steps back to the line. Up it goes, and in it goes. 21-18. Inbounds to Fierro, ahead to Rivera. Rivera loses the ball. Ethan, back to Ty. Ty to the bucket. Throws it outside, nobody's there. My gosh, we had an advantage there. Ty I thought he was going to shoot the ball, but he didn't, and made an errant pass. So the lead's three with 2.44 left in the half. Inbounds to Hinojosa, he comes all the way down the floor, takes it inside, now back outside, he's going to the bucket. Hinojosa misses, rebound tipped up, still loose on the floor, out of bounds off of the Eagles. 2.32 left in the half. They had the shot there, Coach, but couldn't get it. Yeah, well, they just keep rotating their big guys do. in and out. They do. Quite They're, a bit, don't they? They really do. Inbounds to tie, 2.30 left in the half, Herford by three. Fierro picks up Duque. Duque starts inside. Goes to the baseline, throws it out to 
Juan. Juan goes down baseline, 15 footer, it's good. 23-18, Bermudas with another bucket. In the backcourt now, Eagles with the ball, full court pressure by the white faces. Eagles still in the backcourt. Timeout. Timeout call, 2.05 left in the half, opened up by five, back in 30 seconds. All right, five-point Hereford lead. We've got 2.05 left in the half. It is Eagles ball. They took a timeout there because I think coach thought they were going to get a 10-second call. Second timeout they've taken this first half. Whiteface has haven't taken a timeout, I don't believe. No. Rivera will put it in play. The Whitefaces have Bermudez, uh, Lopez, Villegas, Ethan Gonzalez, and uh, Ty. Inbounds now to Fierro. Fierro with Ethan on him. Fires it ahead. Back out now. They're out near midcourt with the ball, trying to set up the offense. Finally get it to Hinojosa, but again, he's out near the half-court line. They're trailing by five and being deliberate, but uh, can't see what they're trying to do, quite honestly. Hinojosa right in front of us. Drives down the lane, pulls up, shoots, and scores off the glass. Nice move by Hinojosa, 23 to 20. Back the other way comes Ty. Ty off to Ethan. Ethan back to Ty in the corner. Ty goes down the baseline. Outside to Juan. Juan to Ty. In the corner now, open for a three. It's good. First one in a month. That was Diego Villegas, 26-20 Hereford. Up the floor now comes Fierro. Throws it long, got a man open. Back outside, Hinojosa takes a 15-footer. It's nowhere near the mark. Rebound off to Lopez. Brylon back the other way. Shot off the glass. It's no good. Rebound, Eagles. Inside a minute to play first half. Herford by six. Hinojosa in the backcourt. Villegas on him. Stops his dribble. Throws it ahead to Rivera. Rivera down on the baseline. Ball knocked away. Out of bounds off of the Eagles. Great play by I think it was Ethan, it was either Ethan or Juan who caused that turnover. Came around the back side and yep. knocked it away. 41 seconds left in the half. Herford up by six, their biggest lead of the ball game. Ty walks it up the floor now. Fierro will pick him up across midcourt. A lot of contact there. Back it goes to the corner. Nothing there. Inside, down low, Bermudas. Up, he misses the shot, but Ty gets the rebound. Ty in traffic, pulls it back out to Ethan. 20 seconds left in the half. Herford with a six point lead. Off to Ethan, almost went in the backcourt. Back to Viegas for three, it's no good. Rebound, fought for, and comes to the Eagles. Six seconds left in the half. Herford by six, ahead now. Down low, shot at the buzzer is good. 26-22, we went to sleep there. Yeah, we did. Gave up a bucket, and the Whitefaces lead by four at the intermission in a rock'em, sock'em first half of basketball. Nine of 14 are the Whitefaces from the line, so not, not stellar from there at this point, but uh, I'm telling you, we lived about two-thirds of that second quarter with just one bucket. Yeah. Whiteface is uh, head of the locker room along with the Eagles as the next two foes come out on the floor here to warm up between games. And we'll take a two minute break with Herford leading 26-22 back in two minutes. One of the most difficult things we experience in life is losing a loved one. So when that time comes, please make sure you place your loved one in the hands of people that truly care about your family and the service that your family deserves when experiencing loss. There is nothing more important at that time. So allow Mendez and Mullins Family Funeral Home to take care of those needs with the utmost respect for you and your family. Herford's only family-owned and operated funeral home. Our family, serving your family. 
Herd athletes work tirelessly on the fundamentals of their particular sport while learning to work in a team concept. It's not much different at Hereford, Texas Federal Credit Union. Our employees have a dedication to serve our members daily with the fundamentals of good business. Being friendly and helping give you peace of mind and knowing that when you need banking assistance, you can get it from our knowledgeable staff. Hereford, Texas Federal Credit Union, member NCUA, working as a team since 1936 with our members. Go Herd! Hey you, yeah you, you should be watching or listening to the game in style with a new sectional, sofa, love seat, and or recliner from Hereford Furniture Exchange. Check out the huge selection of new brand name furniture, mattresses, appliances, and electronics at Hereford Furniture Exchange. 209 East Park Avenue in Hereford, open seven days a week. Financing options available with no credit needed and an initial payment as low as $10. Merchandise in stock, buy today, take home today. When the unthinkable happens, good neighbors show up. For 100 years, State Farm has been among the first to arrive with the latest technology and tools to help you recover faster. State Farm has been there before, and they'll be there again and again. Stop by and see your local State Farm insurance agent, Matt Silva, at 801 Main Street in Hereford. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. All right, it's North. It's a six A game that follows ours. It's North. I was out here, Coach. Uh, yeah, we, we. I'm glad we we're not playing. We were thinking them. about six A, yeah. were we? Yeah, no, I looked I mean, at everything. Uh, they said there was another game, but we looked at our region. There wasn't another game, but uh, they, we don't have any six A, so we these, don't know. Uh, these guys came out to warm up, and we're watching them here going, oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. well, look at him. Oh, gosh, look at him. <laughs> and it go just goes on and on. North Crowley is, uh, these guys, I mean, you talk about meeting in the middle. Yeah. Uh, North Crowley's oh. Fort Worth, El, El Paso, Eastwood. So you can figure that out. They're about 700 miles apart or something like that. Uh, so they came here to play at the halfway point, what's probably just about halfway, honestly. Uh, I'm a, San Elizario. I was going to look earlier and see how far San Elizario is from. Yeah, I don't know what they had to travel. I, you know, I, I, we look, I looked it up one time. The, if you're from El Paso, you're playing playing Hereford. Artesia is almost exactly halfway for both of those, both Hereford and um, El Paso teams. So San Elizario, I think, is a little bit. East of El Paso, isn't it? Okay. On I, I think, but I, I'm so. not. I'm not sure. A little but closer, a little closer to the center of Texas than some. Of, you know, than if you get in there with Riverside and some of those El Paso teams. Well, the White Face is uh, scoring in the first half. Coach, how'd that go? Well, I'm just sitting here watching these big guys. I ain't even been adding anything <laughs> up. So six. Well, we're paying seven, her a lot eight, of nine. money too. I mean. <laughs> nine points uh, for. Um, for Juan Bermudez, let's see here. For eight points for Diego Villegas. Ty's got five points so far on the evening. Uh, a bucket for Ethan Gonzalez. And uh, a free throw each for Diego Ornales and for Brylon Lopez. Um, well, I'll tell you, the size of these guys warming up, if they play like the first quarter of our game, uh, it could be uh, it could be pretty rough. That's all I have to say. The White Faces uh, got up by six. That was our biggest margin. Had a chance, honestly. You know, little things like that uh, could sometimes come back to haunt you. We had a chance to go up by eight before the half. Wound up messing around, turn it over. Uh, they come down then, and uh, we just really don't we don't play defense, and they get a little layup at the buzzer to make it a four point game. So. A four-point swing, if you will, right there at the end of the half. Yeah, and the hard part was we had a foul to give. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we, we could have shut that thing down just a little bit. And, and uh, you're right. I, 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 I worry at a game this tight at halftime that it yeah. could be a real close one yeah. at the end of this thing. Yep. Well, they, again, I don't know what I expected. I looked at their scores online That's and what I heard from our coaches. But... You know, they've played a lot of games where, and, and this one's going to be one of those too, I guess. But, I mean, 50 is a lot of points for them, it looks like, looking over their season. 
So they want to be deliberate, and they, and they were at times. They pulled it out near midcourt and uh, used up clock. I didn't see much. They ran kind of almost like a four corners thing and then tried to drive the lane and did. And, and Hinojosa made two buckets that I thought, uh, I don't know if he makes them all the time, but if he does, he's a great player. I, I doubt that he does, but yeah. he did today. Well, you saw a first quarter that was just as rough as it could be, contact all over the place. You saw a second quarter that started out, yep. the first half of it, first five minutes of it maybe, you couldn't you couldn't play nearly as rough, and then it kind of eased up yep. again. And, and lots of, if you're the ball handler, there's been a lot of pushing off. If you're guarding the guy who's handling the ball, there's a whole lot of contact there as well. There is. It's It's been a, a pretty physical thing for the first uh, 16 minutes. So we'll see what the next 16 brings as uh, the White Faces. Uh, we need all of you back home now that are watching and listening. Uh, Bob Baker, I mean, do something that will help us here. We need a good start. Good start to this third quarter would really be really be uh, helpful to the White Faces. I haven't looked back there. I know our girls softball, they've been playing in a tournament in Midland. I don't know if it's they were going to try to come over here this evening. and It's been loud back watch, behind us. So I know that. I uh, don't know if they made it or not. I can't see good enough to see, but uh, we've got a good crowd here. We really do. I don't know uh, if any people have come in. I guess that's a few from North Crowley over there, but there's not many people, quite honestly, on the what would be the home side of the court here in Seminole. Again, a great, great place to play. Uh, and again, for us, our options when we left Tuesday night were either Monahans or here. Uh, and we are grateful that it's Mon <laughs> not Monahan. Nothing against Monahan. Absolutely not. They, they've been, we've talked about Seminole being a gracious host over the years. Yeah. So has Monahans. Monahans has, has stepped up over and over and over again to give us opportunities for some playoff games. And, you know, those are the ones that you never can really give back yeah. Um, yeah. because they don't, yeah. they, they don't, don't they don't want to come up there. They don't, yeah, there's nobody north of us yeah. that where we might be middle ground. And so that makes it even a lot nicer that uh, places like Seminole and Andrews and Monahans uh, offer up their facilities and, and take care of us when we need it. All right, here we go. Final half of play. It'll be Herford's ball to begin this third quarter. White faces with a four-point lead. Again, the winner is in the regional quarterfinals, and that will be uh, Randall. And the other two schools out of our district, West Plains and Canyon, both playing this afternoon and evening, and uh, I honestly would expect both of them to win. So hope we can hold up our end of the bargain here and get a, a victory for the White faces. Ethan Gonzalez, Ty Duque, Diego Ornelas, Juan Bermudez, and uh, Diego Villegas. Here we go, inbounds it comes. Down in the corner we work it. Down low, inside, can't shoot, off to Ornelas. Off the bucket, off the glass and in. Perfect by six. Again, full court pressure. Rivera wants it all by himself. The big post with uh, Ethan on him, and he's gonna need some help. And he throws it long and throws it away, and the White Faces get it. Back the other way we go. Maybe Rivera doesn't need to bring it if he's, <laughs> he's so wanted there. Herford inside now to Villegas, down low to Ethan, oh, off the nice glass. Feet. Herford by eight, 30 to 22. Timeout El Paso, Herford up 30, 22. We're back in 30 seconds. leaders as they always do putting on a, a good show supporting the white faces timeout taken by San Elizario after Herford scored two quick buckets to start this third quarter and make it an eight point lead it's a full link it's 60 second timeout. Well, I'm telling you both teams using yeah. that just there. barely into this 
third quarter. Yeah, he asked for a 30-second timeout. I guess he's out because they've only got two timeouts left, uh -huh. Southern Rosario. So they've used a bunch. But it's their ball down by eight in the backcourt. Again, the white face uh, full court pressure paying dividends early in this third quarter. We just played 39 seconds. Rivera inbounds it to Hinojosa. Hinojosa with Ornelas on him. Comes up near midcourt, loses the ball, but gets it back. Fires it ahead now to Fierro. Fierro on the outside. Passes top of the circle to Garcia. Garcia gives it off. Back to Rivera. Rivera left side pass to Hinojosa. Drives in the lane, can't shoot. He travels. Perfect ball. Yeah, he did a little jump stop, yep. but then his pivot foot just kind of scooted along there. He slipped, I think. Needed to, needed to shoot it, honestly, mm -hmm. I thought, but he didn't, and I'm thankful he didn't. Irvin with the ball inside seven minutes to play third period, leading by eight. Tie at midcourt, ahead now to Diego. Diego starts right, then left. Ball's knocked away, but we get it back. Tie open for a three, doesn't take it. In traffic, loses the ball, back the other way we go. Three on two, Hinojosa down low. Nice pass, Garcia, bucket. Six point game. Well, we just dribbled a moment ago into, into traffic and lost the ball, and again, it's rough enough, you can't get in there. Down low, the white faces get it, taken away again by the Eagles. Back the other way comes Fierro, taken away by the white faces, comes back to the Eagles, back to the white faces, ahead now, and we throw it away, trying to get the fast break bucket. Wow. Viegas oh, tried to lead Bermudez and led him too much. 6.13 left in the quarter. Golden opportunity lost there by the white faces. Again, full court pressure, Rivera. Called a foul. Foul on Hinojosa. Herford's ball. 6.13 left in the quarter. Herford up by six with the ball. Rivera pushed someone in the face, the official said. Whoa. Bermudez lines up knocked down, but Arnalis gets it up and in. Again, an eight-point lead. Rivera to Fierro. Fierro with Diego on him. Diego holds him at bay, ahead now to Garcia. They don't want Garcia handling the ball. He goes all the way, charges in, and the white faces get it back. Garcia completely out of control. They call a charge? Yep. Okay. 5.56 left in the third period, Herford by eight. Garcia, the 6-4, he's really not a ball handler type, and he's gonna come out of the game. Four on him. Herford inbounds it now to Ty. We played just over two minutes of the third quarter. The White Faces lead by eight. Ty at midcourt, left side pass to Ethan. Ethan back inside to Ty, baseline, Viegas. Outside to Ornelas for three. It's good. 35-24 Herford. Seven Five. points for Diego Ornelas. Two threes for him. Here's Hinojosa ahead, balls to Rivera. He pulls up, takes a 10-footer, it's good. 35-26, Herford back the other way. Tie against pressure. Splits the double team ahead. Now we throw it away, get it back, and up and in by Diego Ornelas. Herford again by 11, 5-13 left third quarter. Inbounds to Hinojosa. Hinojosa in the backcourt, he's got pass ahead to Rivera. Rivera to the bucket, off the glass, no good. Rebound, out of bounds, off of. The yeah. Eagles, great Good play, job. great play. Ethan Gonzalez threw it down off the out-of-bounds player, and Herford gets it back. 4.58 left third period. Herford by 11. Ethan ahead to Ty. Ty at midcourt, dribbles through the double team. Viegas fakes the three, takes it back out. Down low to Gonzalez. He is fouled. Wow. What a foul by Cruz. 4.46 left third period. That's the uh, third team foul against uh, the Eagles here in this quarter. White faces with an 11-point lead in the ball. Inbounds, it comes to tie. Open for a three. It's no good. Oh, my goodness. Push off inside. Here's a three-on-one now for the Eagles. Hinojosa dumps it inside. Off the glass. No good. Rebound. Diegos back the other way. Three-on-three. Three. Diego against the triple team. Gets free, and he travels. Nope, a foul. Foul is on Cruz. 
Back in comes uh, Rylan Lopez. Herford by 11 with the ball, 428 left third period, led by four at the half. That's four fouls against uh, the Eagles here in this quarter. Inbounds now it comes to Ty. Ty sets up the offense. Cruz comes out on him. Oh my gosh, Cruz just I mean, runs over him and then wants to know what's wrong. That's five. Ty will shoot the two. And four on Cruz. Wow. Three, all, three of those have just come in this third quarter. Well, that one was just, I mean, he almost threw a body block into yep. him and then acted surprised when he got whistled. Two free throws for Ty Duque. Herford leading by 11. 4.21 left third quarter. Ty shoots the first free throw. It goes up and in. The cheer was, I'd be missing. he not be missing. He'd be making. <laughs> 40, 12 point lead for Herford, 38-26. Ty with 4.21 left in the third quarter. he be making again. Herford by 13. Inbounds, Cruz to Rivera. He traveled, got away with it. Ahead to Hinojosa, down low. Now they work it back outside near midcourt. Nearing the halfway point of the third quarter, Herford up by 13 points. Rivera with the ball, left side pass to Fierro. He takes the three, he misses, and we foul him. He'll shoot three, wow. One that time came out on him, and Fierro, probably a guy we want to shoot, shot and missed, but uh, he'll get three, three free throws. 4.04 left third quarter. Whiteface is up 39 26. The winner to face Randall. Fierro stands, ball on his hip, the official counting. Puts it up and misses. Fierro looks like uh, <laughs> someone behind us doing the I be missing chant. Again, so deliberate at the line he is. Second free throw goes up, he makes it. 39-27. He can make it an 11-point lead again. Couple of subs as uh, they bring uh, Diego Martinez and uh, Hinojosa both out of the game. Fierro, one more free throw now. Up it goes, and he made two out of three. It's an 11-point lead. Ethan now gets full court pressure. Inbounds it to Ty. Nice. Ty whistle for a travel. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't know how you call that when we, but they called it. It's their ball, Herford by 11, 4.03 left, third quarter. Eagles will inbound underneath their own bucket. Outside Hinojosa, he won't take the three. Dribbles back near midcourt, now Brandon out on him. Right side pass, back to the top of the circle. Left side pass, long three, no good. Rebound off to Bermudez. Great job by Juan. He gets it back to Ty, and here we go. Ty across midcourt in the fourth court. Off to Brandon. Brandon outside to Ethan. He drives the baseline. Off the glass, no good. Ball tipped around and comes to the Eagles. Back the other way, the ball kicked. Who kicked it? Oh, a foul on Ty. Ty's got his uh, second foul of the ball game, I believe. 332 left third period. 11-point Herford lead. Ball got kicked that time, and I don't know. I thought they'd call it I, I did, too. Here is Fierro in the backcourt. Fires it ahead. Top of the circle to Rivera. Rivera goes to his left, starts inside, passes back outside. 319 left, third quarter. Three from the left is no good, but it's so bad it's a pass. Still Eagles ball. Back out to Rivera near midcourt. He drives inside. Oh, he traveled. Back it goes to Hinojosa. Outside Fierro. Three minutes left. Herford by 11. Three minutes left, third quarter. Rivera open for three. Fierro, he misses. Rebound off to the Eagles. Oh, my gosh. There's a charge on the Eagles. 2.49 left, third period. Herford's ball. Leading by 11. That foul was on uh, Cruz, was it? Zero? I think it's on, uh, yeah, Cruz, his third. 
I don't know. They've got how many players with four? Two? Uh, two with four. M. Right. Cruz and A. Garcia, both bad. White faces up by 11. The Brandon's got it outside, throws it away. Scramble for it, saved by Ethan, and he bounces it off of the Eagles. It's Herbert's ball. Great play again by Ethan to keep that thing alive. A bad pass. He went and got it as he was going out of bounds. He bounced it off one of the Eagles. Still Herbert's ball. 2.36 left third quarter. Time now as the Eagles sub. They bring Cruz out. Five faces just can't afford to be sloppy with no, their passes. No. Inbounds now to Ty. He's got it on the baseline. Spins, puts a lot jumper up. It's good. 41-28, Herford. 2.27 left third period. Rivera in the backcourt with Ethan on him. Golly. Ahead now. They get it to Fierro. Fierro outside. 2.13 left in the quarter. Rivera's got it. Rivera passes back near midcourt. Left side pass now. They won't take the three. Back to the top of the circle. Right side pass. Put up the three. It is good. Three-pointer that time by Cruz. And it's 41-31. Big bucket there. Here's Ty back the other way. All the way. Pulls up. Shoots about a 12-footer. It's no good. And the rebound belongs to the Eagles. And it's taken away by Ethan. Taken back away by the Eagles. And tied up or fouled by the White Faces. I think they're going to get a foul on... Yep, on Brylin. Yep. White faces third of the quarter, 142 left third period. Again, we just kind of came down the court and didn't take care of the ball. One yeah, we get it. We get the turnover, right? And then we just stay in frantic mode. We do. Up by 10, inbounds now, in the backcourt, and a foul on Ethan. They had him double teamed there. They had Cruz double teamed, and we get the foul. Cruz playing with four fouls now in the ball game with a minute 39 left, third quarter. Herford leading by 10. Rivera inbounds to Cruz, back to Rivera. Rivera again, now to Hinojosa. Rylan has him. Up near midcourt, back to Rivera. Rivera at the top of the circle with a minute 29 left in the quarter. Back out to Hinojosa. Herford's lead's been 13. It's currently 10, but the Eagles with the ball here and a chance to get it back into single figures. Right side, a three-point shot by Cruz. No good. Rebound. Fought far. Great play by Ty to tip it away from the uh, Eagles back to the White Faces. Inside to Acosta, who's come in. He's fouled. He'll shoot two with 106 left in the quarter. The foul is on Diego Martinez. 41-31 Herford. 106 rain, remaining. Third period of play. White Faces and Eagles here in the area championship. Marco's first free throw, no good. 41-31, White Faces bring uh, Viegas and Torres back in. 10 point lead. Second chance for Marco's here. Up it goes, makes one of the two. Full court pressure inbounds to Rivera. Ahead to Cruz. Cruz is foul on Brandon, the fifth on the White Faces. Cruz turned into Brandon. That's four team fouls, I guess. No, it's five. It's five. They'll shoot two. 42 to one. Brandon looked like he was in perfect position. Oh. Cruz turned into him. It would have been Cruz's fifth foul. Instead, they get to shoot two free throws with 103 left in the quarter. It's it's just been, it's got to be confusing for the players. Yeah, it is. Yep. Cruz, his first free throw is up, it's good. 10 point game now. One minute, three seconds left. Herford led by four at the half. They've been up by as many as 13 here. Had chances, honestly, to widen that and just didn't take care of the ball for the most part. Cruz shooting now the second free throw. Can make it a nine point game. Up it goes and he made them both. Two subs in for the Eagles now. White faces against the full court pressure. Up by nine, it'll be Nick Torres to put it in play. Nick's inbounds pass will come to Marcos. Ahead now to, oh, the white faces turn it over. 
Nine point lead now, a minute left in the quarter. And again, just, I mean, we're trying to handle a press. I get it, but we make a, not a good pass and then can't control it and goes out of bounds. Eagles ball. Time called by the official there if we didn't have everybody on the court. Inbounds to Cruz, Brandon has him. Cruz fires it ahead now to Hinojosa. Outside Rivera. Rivera gives it to Cruz. Left side, they shoot the three, it is good. That's Jay Cruz, it's now a seven point game. Into Torres, Torres ahead now to Viegas. Viegas all the way inside, puts the shot up, he'll shoot two. With 35, 39 seconds left in the quarter, but the lead's back to seven. I mean, we had again, had the ball in good position. I know it's a game of spurts, but our spurts, uh, we kind of short-sighted ourselves. 42-36, it's a six-point game. I think I said seven a moment ago. Now it's a seven-point game, 43-36. Uh, and uh, Diego can make it an eight-point lead as this only, he's got two threes for the white faces today. He misses the free throw, though. We lead by seven. Here's Hinojosa to Rivera. Rivera, 30 seconds left in the quarter to Hinojosa. Out near midcourt. He gets a little bit of a screen, starts inside, can't shoot. Back to Cruz. Cruz around the perimeter, goes in the backcourt, and it's Herbert's ball. Ty calls the turnover. Up by seven now, 20 seconds left in the quarter. Let's get a bucket, guys, yep, and get yep. a little something going for the fourth. Absolutely. Yeah, this second, about the last, I don't know, second half, last three minutes of this third yep. quarter. Ooh, we've just kind of let them sneak yep. a few points in on us. Back in to tie. Clock running inside 20 seconds. Third quarter. Herford by seven. Ty pulls up for a three. It's no good. Rebound up and in by Viegas. Herford by nine. In the backcourt now. Hinojosa. Five seconds left in the quarter. Hinojosa trapped. Ball taken away by Ty. He shoots at the buzzer. It's no good. Whiteface's lead 45-36, the final quarter in one minute. Minutes to play, Herford with a nine point lead. It's been as much as 13. It got back to six late in that quarter. Whiteface has scored the last three points of the period. Now it's Eagles ball to begin the final period. Rivera to put it in play right in front of us. Whiteface is with uh, Ethan Gonzalez, Brylan, Juan Bermudez, Diego Villegas, and tied. We're in the 1 3 1 zone. Tenahosa's got it. Hinojosa back outside to Fierro. In to Rivera. He takes a 14-footer. It's good. He's a good shooter. It's a seven-point lead now. Ty's got it against the pressure, and here he comes down the floor. Fires it ahead now to Ethan. Ethan goes inside, puts the shot up off the glass. It won't go. Rebound, Eagles. 7.29 to play. It's a seven-point game, and... San Elizario with the ball. Hinojosa across midcourt. Cruz. Fierro down on the baseline. Good defense by the White Faces. There's a timeout call by San Elizario. They've got one left. 7-10 mm -hmm. to play. We're back in 60 seconds.
already we've got seven minutes and nine seconds to play. The White Faces lead 48, 45, 38. And the ball belongs to the Eagles. 7-10 to play. Ty and- uh, They're gonna stop that good. whistle. Yep. There was a fan. <laughs> yeah. There was a fan during cheers in between quarters that uh, was using a whistle with San El from San Elzario and uh, the official did not care for that. Inbounds now quickly, they've got it. Down by seven. Big possession for both teams here. Cruz outside to Hinojosa. He goes down to the baseline, puts it off the glass. It's no good. Rebound is off to Ethan Gonzalez. Ethan turns it over. Back to the inside and we foul Rivera. And again, 6.53 left. We get the rebound and then just make a, an errant pass. And now Rivera can make it a five point game with 6.53 to play. We just cannot put this thing uh, away. And now it is very much a game. Rivera misses, 45-38. Herford and San Elizorio battling for the right to play Randall here this afternoon. 6.53 to play. Second chance now for Miguel Rivera. He missed them both. Rebound one. Juan de Braland. Here come the white faces. Quickly ahead now to Ethan. Ethan tries to throw it down low and throws it away. Ball's out of bounds off Herford. 6.44 to play. The white faces really struggling. 45-38 Herford. Inbounds in the backcourt now. Hinojosa's got it. 6.41 left in somebody's season. Cruz on the outside. Inside pass, knocked away. Comes back, knocked away again. White faces get it. Here comes Tide. He loses the ball. Back the other way, and it's knocked away. Get it to Rivera. He pulls up, shoots, and makes it. 45-240. Again, I mean, we just turned it over when there was no reason to. Ethan in the backcourt. Timeout Herford with 6.14 left. A five-point lead. White faces take a timeout. We're back in 30 seconds. When life Goes a five here in the early going of the fourth quarter. We've got the ball, but old momentum is we're in blue and white at the moment. Yes, yes it is. We have had so many turnovers yeah. that have gone our way. We've lost a lot too, but we've had some go our way. Yep. And we just turn it right back around and, and lose it then. And that is kicking our backside, I'm telling you. It is. Kicks we're, your backside as far as momentum too yeah, and your confidence. Yeah. We just seem, we almost seem a little lethargic and then we just play at such a pace that we can't, can't keep control of it. But 6.19 left, timeout call. Coach Brown trying to kind of settle the troops down. Inbound it now to Ty and here we go. Ty across midcourt. San Elizario had all these players in foul trouble and nobody has gotten another foul. Mm -hmm. Down low, great pass, Brylin with a bucket. Assist by Duque, Herford by seven. Inside six minutes to play. Back the other way now, Hinojosa has the ball for the Eagles. Outside pass to Cruz, back to Hinojosa. Herford again in that 1-3-1, here's the three, it's up, it's good. Wow, Jay Cruz makes it a four point lead now as the white faces feel the news tighten. Viegas, ahead, throws it away. Back the other way, they throw it away. Throw it back in bounds, but it comes to Brylin, who gives it off to Ethan. Ethan on a two on three, slows it down. Now fires it and throws it away, trying to get it to Viegas. Viegas was wide open, 
and now it's a four-point lead and the Eagles have the ball. Wow. I'll tell you, man, this one could uh, slip slide away real easy here. Rivera inbounds it to Hinojosa. Viegas has him. Hinojosa at midcourt. First right, then left. Fires it down the corner, down the baseline. Way back outside. They want to shoot the three. Inside now, Rivera loses the ball. It's scrambled for, still loose. Herford comes up with it, and we've got a jump ball. It's Herford's ball. Wow. First jump ball of the ball game. Man, there was a lot of contact there that both sides yeah. got away with, but it's Herford's ball down up by four. Five minutes left to play. Again, we've got to get good looks and make buckets here and take care of the basketball. One foul against Herford in this quarter, none against uh, the Eagles. You hear behind me one of the Whiteface fans say, take care of the ball. It's excellent advice. Here we go, tie across midcourt. Inside five minutes to play. Villegas had a three but doesn't take it, takes a 15-footer that's no good, and the rebound belongs to Rivera who loses the ball. Oh, my. My faces get whistled for a foul. Rivera gets bailed out. Wow. Foul is on uh, Villegas, his third. Oh, pardon me, on Brylin, his third. 4.42 to play. Again, it's a four-point game. White faces fail to get a shot away again. Hinojosa outside, top of the circle to Rivera. Rivera keeps it, pulls up, shoots a 17-footer that's not good, but the ball's tipped right back to him. He goes inside, misses again, and a foul that on has, the Eagles. Yeah, I was going to say that has to be on yep. the Eagles. Hinojosa, I mean, uh, Rivera, I think. Man, they had a couple of point-blank looks. 4.25 left, a four-point Hereford lead. And the Whitefaces just can't, we can't even get a shot off for, because of turnovers, not because of uh, great defense necessarily. But 4.25 left, Hereford's up by four. Full court pressure, inbounds, it comes to Ty. Ty fires it, he traveled, he did. Ball hung up on his hip, and another Whiteface turnover. If the Whitefaces... Uh find a way to win this thing yep it will be a feat in spite of ourselves that's right 429 left Herford up by four again had a chance I think there for a fast break bucket and just turned it over here is Fierro outside gives it off to Hinojosa knocked away but he gets it back now Hinojosa with Ethan all over him he carried the ball great defense by Ethan wow 4-12 left, four-point lead. Whitefaces uh, in this quarter have scored one bucket. Inbounds now it comes to Bryland. Bryland with Fierro and him. Inside, loses it. Ball's out of bounds off of the Eagles. Wow. Almost turned it over again. Four minutes left in the ballgame, 4-0-2. Herford up 47-43. Brandon's in the ballgame now. Inbounding the ball is Ethan. He does so to Brylin. Out front to Brandon. Brandon in traffic. Off on the right side to Ethan. Ethan in traffic. Gets it back. Throws it outside. Oh, my gosh. Almost turned it over again. Brylin to Brandon. And we throw it away once again. Threw it right to him. Back the other way. Hinojosa all the way up and in. It's a two-point game. 3.36 left. And the white faces turn it over on the inbounds pass. There is a charge on Rivera. He had a layup and runs over the white faces. Two point lead. Back in comes Ornelas and Duque. The white faces with two just horrible turnovers back to back. 3.30 to play. 47 to 45, Herford. Ornelas inbounds it to Ty. Ty back to Diego. Diego fires it ahead to Viegas. Pump fake off the glass. It's good, 49-45. Great play by Viegas. Back the other way, it's Rivera. Rivera fires it cross court. Oh, yeah, A foul yeah, on the white faces. 3-12 left to play. Rivera's got four fouls. That could have been his fifth. That's the fourth 
against the white faces. So each team will shoot two free throws for the rest of the game. 3-12 to play, Herford up by four, Eagles basketball. Rivera to put it in play. Rivera inbounds it to the top of the circle. Back in the corner, Cruz, he can't shoot. Cruz back out front to Fierro. Three minutes to play, Fierro back to Cruz. Inside, knocked away, stolen by Brylin. Out of bounds off Brylin, he couldn't keep it in play. Herford with a four point lead and Eagles with the ball, 2.57 left. Inbounds now to, Cru to Fierro. Fierro with Viegas on him. Both teams again will shoot two free throws on any foul. Back out to Hinojosa, 2.48 left. Hinojosa taken away by Diego. Or now let's lose it right back. Here come the Eagles now with a chance to cut it to two. Down in the corner, Cruz can't shoot. Throws it way cross court to Hinojosa. He drives in the lane, he's fouled from the backside. He'll shoot two with 2.29 left. A four point Hereford lead. Hinojosa can make it a two point game. Wow. 49-45 Hereford, 2.29 left in someone's season. Inbounds to Hinojosa. Ooh, Hinojosa walked. <laughs> Hinojosa with Rylan on him. That was not the fifth foul, that was the fourth foul, obviously. Here's Rivera out near midcourt, 2.18 left. Inside, backdoor pass taken away by Bermudez. Wow. Here's Ty, way uh. down the floor to Analis, back to Ty. Herford takes the timeout with 2 one left. Again, we make a court length pass with a four point lead and two minutes to play. Oh. We're back in 30 seconds. First Financial Bank wonders, how does your credit card treat you? Well, their bill is always on time. Well, 201 left to play. Herford by four with the ball. Again, both teams in the uh, two shot foul situation. I'm just sitting here looking at that lady who had the whistle. Who brings a whistle to a basketball game and blows it in the stands? I mean. I don't know. When the cheerleader started to do, I don't know what kind of uh, cheer it was. It was, I don't know. It was whistle. kind of an aggressive cheer. Yeah. But yeah, she started blowing the whistle with the cheer. Herford by four with the ball, inbounds from Diego Ornelas. Comes out front down to Brylin. 206, I said uh, 201 a moment ago. Brylin inside Bermudez. Get in, He's get fouled in. and scored. What a pass and what a bucket by Juan Bermudez. It's a six point lead, exactly two minutes to play and Bermudez can make it seven. 51-45, That's, That's all for Cruz, yep, he's fouled out. That is, uh, Matthew Cruz. They also have Jay Cruz. You know, he has a story. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pass that up. I'm sorry. It's really not spelled the same way. Here we go. <laughs> Free throw for one now to make it a seven point game. He doesn't. They get the rebound. Here's Rivera. Up the floor for San Elizario. Finally gives it outside. And no. Get out of there. Almost out of bounds, but saved by the Eagle. 149 left, down by six. On the baseline, ball loose. Eagles get it back, Rivera, 140 to play. Oh my gosh, Rivera knocks tie down, knocks another guy down, and we get the foul. Wow, 138 left. Rivera runs over Ty, runs over the second defender, and we get the foul. He gets two free throws, six point lead, 51-45. You just have the feeling that it's going to go to him. Wow. He's going to yeah, try to finish sure. this thing out, Rivera is. He's got four fouls, and he's, boy, he's come close to fouling out more than once. Free throws up. It's good. 51-46. 138. They only have one timeout left. You might remember they used lots of timeouts the first half. But very much in the game of the Eagles, down by five with 138 left. Rivera. Shoots. 
misses. Rebound off to Juan. Five point lead in the ball. Ryland gets it up the floor now to Diego. Diego throws it away. 130 left. The White Faces with a five point lead in the ball, and we throw it away. All right, Eagles ball. Rivera in the backcourt to Hinojosa. Hinojosa with tie on him. Cross midcourt. Stops his dribble, fires it ahead now to Fierro. 119 left. 51 46. Open for a three. It's no good. Rebound off to yes. Lopez. Violin across midcourt in the forecourt. Out to Diego. Diego's fouled by Hinojosa with 104 left and Herford leading by five. Gosh, the rebound a moment ago. We just stood there and nobody went up and the ball. Violin got the rebound, but it was iffy for a moment. We get to shoot? We're shooting too. Yeah, that's five on them. Uh, uh, uh. No? Uh, uh. Okay, the scoreboard's wrong then. They've had four for some time. It's still Herford's ball. Okay, 104 left. We lead by five. That was the fourth foul. Scoreboard had five, four for uh, the longest time, but uh, apparently they were one off. So the Eagles got a foul. Well, I don't say they got a foul. They can see if we turn it over. But if we don't turn it over, they've got a foul, I would think. Down five, 104 left. Let's see. Inbounds to Juan. Oh, Juan. He gives it to Diego, who gives it to Ty inside a minute. Ty, they foul him, but they don't call it. He goes inside, back outside, and a foul now down low. Ty will shoot two with 54 seconds left. So they tried to foul him out at midcourt. No call, and he goes inside, and they call it. With Herford leading by five, 54 seconds to play. Two free throws for Duque, and uh, that's it for Diego Martinez. Diego I Martinez believe. is fouled out. White faces are 54 seconds away from advancing to the regional quarterfinals against Randall. Lead by five, two free throws. Ty Duque, the shooter. Ty at the knees, puts it up. It's good. 52-46, Herford by six. I think they're wasting their time on Ty's free throw shooting. But uh, the junior dribbles it four times. Spins the ball, bends at the knees, puts it up. It's in and out. Rebound off to the Eagles. They're down by six. 50 seconds to play. They shoot a three. It's no good. Rebound off to the White Faces. That's Diego. He gets it to Diego, and it's a foul with a six point lead and 43.9 seconds left. The White Faces up by six. Two free throws here for Diego and Alice. And that's all for Rivera. He says that's four, but guess what? The book no, has five, five, so he'll go out of the ball game. He becomes the third eagle to foul out, and quite honestly, he's lucky he didn't go a long time ago. 43 seconds to play. Eagles got a sub here. Coach is confused about how many fouls that is. Five is the rule. <laughs> so. Five, it's five, five is is it? it's, okay. it's a new rule. It they is put, a new one. They put it in 60, 70 <laughs> years ago. Here we go. Diego to shoot two. First one's up. It's good. 70, 53, 46. Seven point lead for the White Faces. 43.9 seconds to play. White Faces that far away from another goal ball. Made them both. 54, 46. Here comes Hinojosa in a full run. A three from the corner is up. It is good. 54-49, a five-point lead with 36 seconds left, and the last timeout used by the Eagles. So we will take a 30-second break and be back. Herford up by five. We're back in 30 seconds. 
Needing extra income? Looking for a full-time job with advancement opportunities? McDonald's in Hereford is hiring full-time and part-time people who are energetic and customer-focused. At McDonald's, you will be able to work flexible hours, whether it's three hours or eight hours per day. Benefits include a free meal when you're working and a 30% discount when you're off-duty. Earn a vacation benefit and $10 an hour and above with experience. To apply, just text TX162 to 38000. Welcome back. The White Faces with a five-point lead. Said a good night. Okay. Five-point lead and uh, have the basketball here. Again, uh, it's either steal or foul, I would think, for the Eagles. There's 33 seconds left to play here in Seminole. It has been a hard, hard afternoon for the White Faces. We have struggled mightily handling the ball. And, and I'm, yet we have a lead. Yep, and I am, but I don't think it, we don't need to jinx anything and determine no. us the winners yet. It is, it, oh, we beat up ourselves yeah. so badly. Well, we got we got the ball. Obviously, we have to take care of it right here. And if we do, they've got a foul. And then, obviously, the free throws are critical. Here we go. Inbounds, it comes quickly down to Ornalis, back to Ty in the forecourt. Ty will take it back out, give it to Diego. We're down to 26 seconds. They foul Viegas, Diego Viegas with 26 seconds, 26.9. Again, Herford leading by five. So we used up 10 seconds and got the foul. And now let's make the free throws, Diego. White faces. Up it goes, it's no good. Stays a five-point game. So, I mean, they're, you know, if he makes this, they're two threes away from tying it. So let's put it up, and he missed them both. Rebound off to the Eagles. They throw it away, and Herford, Juan Bermudez gets it. Ty's got it with 20 seconds left. They foul him with 18 and a five-point lead. Two more free throws. And you got to feel pretty good about our chances now, but it, we need again to make the free throws. Taking on Randall, the winners of this game. And man, I'm telling you, we have struggled. It's been like, you know, if you look back to some games, uh, the games against Perryton, a lot like that as far as just having a hard time. But we're going to win. Ty makes it a six point game. 18 seconds left to play. He can make it seven as the junior shoots again. He's been our best free throw shooter again here today. Up it goes, and he made them both. 56-49, clock running. Here come the Eagles. They launch a three, it's no good. Hit off the top of the backboard, it's Herford's ball with 11 seconds left and a seven point lead. The white faces inbound it and get a foul. That'll be the plan. Inbounds, it comes, and it's stolen. And a three shot by them and missed. And the rebound goes to Bermudas. They foul in the meantime. Seven seconds left. We'll go to the other end. Herford will shoot two free throws, and it's academic. Cindy wanted us to sing Turn Out the Lights. We'll not do that, but I'll tell you, you can turn out your lights because the white faces with a seven point lead and seven seconds to play and two free throws, have it in the bag. Diego Rinalis with 12 points so far on the night. It's been a good evening yeah. for him. Again, we, we're not a team. You can't set on one guy. We've got good balance. He makes the first. 57 to 49. White face cheerleaders again. Another great job here today. They are just superb. Second free throw goes up. It's good, and the White Faces lead it 58-49. There's six seconds, five seconds. Hinojosa off to Cruz. Shot blocked, rebound Herford, and that's the ball game. The White Faces win it 58-49. A hard-earned win here, but a win nonetheless, and it's on to the regional semifinals for the guys in maroon and white. White faces uh, and Eagles exchange handshakes. It was a good, clean game as far as, especially as 
physical as they let the game get. But the White Faces get the win, and uh, it'll be a fun ride back home now. It almost wasn't. <laughs> it almost wasn't. You're right. And, and they're going to look back at this, and they're going to count up the number of yep. turnovers and go, how did we survive that? Yep. But they did, and congratulations to these guys. Gold basketball being presented to the Herford White Faces right now as they celebrate over across the way the nine-point win over the Eagles. We're going to take a break for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a minute. Look at it. 30 seconds. Let's do a minute. Daniel, we'll be back in a minute to talk about the scores and interview some of the players when we come back in one minute. Herford ISD. We are committed to children and dedicated to excellence. Herford ISD encompasses over 900 square miles. We educate approximately 4,000 students each year and employ approximately 650 employees. Hereford ISD buses over 700 students to and from school each day. We provide 14 bus routes and drive over 1,100 miles per day. We choose to make a difference in the lives of all of our children. Go Herd! The community of Hereford continues to be committed to the Hereford White Faces, just as Happy State Bank is committed to our customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Hereford White Faces, starting a business, or planning for the future, Happy State Bank is here for all your life's moments. Let us be your partner at Happy State Bank. Visit us in person or at happybank.com. Happy State Bank, a division of Centennial Bank, member FDI. I see equal housing lender. Tom and Brenda back here at uh, Seminole Indian Gymnasium where the White Faces have just won the uh, area match, 58 to 49, the final. White Faces uh, led today by, uh, let me see what we've got here. His coach has got it all tallied up. Diego Arnales with 14, Diego Villegas with 13, Ty Duque with 12. Uh, four points for Ethan Gonzalez, three points for Brylon Lopez, and a point for Marcos Acosta. I believe oh, we've got 12 points for Juan Bermudez. I left one out of that. So 58 points and four players in double figures. That's pretty impressive as the White Faces uh, celebrate. And I don't want to, you know, as I talked, uh, I don't want to make it sound like that we didn't deserve to win. I'm just saying we made it hard on ourselves. Uh, to win here today, but when we did, and the White Faces uh, have another goal basketball, which a couple of them are holding right now as they uh, celebrate with some of the fans back up here. Uh, Diego is going to be first, I think, Diego Ornelas, and then Diego Villegas. I believe that'll be the order of those two. Nick. You too. Put that headset on there, Diego, and we'll talk, buddy. Well, first of all, congratulations. It was a hard-earned win, wouldn't you say? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. What uh, We had some problems handling the basketball here today. What was the deal? Uh, just getting off a three-hour bus ride. I mean, <laughs> we just had to warm up, I guess. We yep. just had to get into it. You wound up, uh, Diego, with 14 points here this afternoon. Had a good day. Uh, what was the key to that? Just locking in for my teammates, you know. I don't want them to go home sad or whatever, you know. I want them to go home with a win. Now with this win, I mean, we get the right to face Randall yet again next yes, week. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, you know, another chance, you know, more confident now that we got some more wins. I think we'll get it. Well, you got another gold basketball here today, so yes, congratulations. Sir. Appreciate Diego. it. All right. Thank Diego Ornelas, one of the senior members of the White Faces. And uh, we'll let, uh, I think Nick's going to be next. Nick Torres, yet another senior here today. Uh, well, congratulations, Nick. <laughs> Thank you. This winning thing's a good thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Talk a little bit about this team, Nick. And, I mean, you guys have fought and fought. I mean, here today we struggled, but we want, found a way to win. Uh, how, how do you see us right now? I mean, I see us as, like, us competitive. All we do is just keep working every day. And in practice, it's pretty fun because we, all we do is work hard and do what we got to do to just in order us to get next to the to the next level talk about these guys sam elizario here this afternoon uh, how, how did you see them i mean they're a pretty good team they're, it wasn't it wasn't a uh, easy win for us but we found a way to go through and um and find a way to win the ball game on ourselves and well not on ourselves but like as a yeah, team yeah so 
It was rough. I mean, rough as I've seen, right? Yeah. Do you like that or not? I mean, it gives us good, like, hey, get us ready for the next competition, yeah. whatever's next. Like, now we got Randall. All right. Randall's a tough competition. <laughs> we got to go hard. All right. Thanks, Nick. You're Congratulations. welcome. Congratulations. Thank Nick you. Torres. I think Diego Villegas is uh, going to come join us here. He is. And, again, he's uh, another senior, and uh, – Diego had uh, 13 points here this afternoon. So How are you doing? I'm good, Diego. Congratulations, first of all. Uh, 13 points, a pretty good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You made a couple of threes. Man, we needed some threes. Maybe we hadn't made a three in a month, I don't think. And uh, uh, they, yeah. they were pretty helpful. I don't know what's going on with our threes right now, <laughs> but. But you got it done. Yeah. You got Talk it done. about the, the bunch uh, from uh, San Elizario today. How, how did you see them? Uh. Man, they didn't back down. No. They didn't, didn't back down. They played with us, and they, they bought it to us at the beginning of the game. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we found a way to to get it. And you, and you wound up with the win and the goal basketball and a chance to play Randall yet again, huh? Yeah. All We've right. We've been looking forward to that. All right. Well, congratulations, Diego, here hey. this afternoon. Great job. Right. Diego Villegas with 13 points here today. And as the white faces uh, – get the victory by nine uh coach brown will take a seat here and he'll be our final guest of the day coach brown uh congratulations thank first you of all. thank you well, we, we talk about they're not easy and yeah, <laughs> boy we we definitely didn't make it easy this, tonight, this was we? as hard as it could be <laughs> oh, it, coach? Gosh. you uh, know the only stat i don't want to see is how many turnovers oh, we Lord. had i i started keeping it i quit yeah. uh, it got to be I just, I, I, any reason, Coach, you think? I mean, you know, th they do a great job putting pressure on you. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that's a, that's tough. You know, you, you've got to find a way to take care of the ball. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we just came out and, and thought that we were just yeah. going to kill them, you know, because yeah. on film they look okay, you know, and I guess we just we we just didn't handle it, yeah. you know, didn't handle the, the road trip, didn't handle the – but here's the thing is we've got to celebrate this because right. kids are tough. I mean, yeah. how many times in our Absolutely. school's history have we been to here, Absolutely. you know? Nothing, and so the nothing, nothing wrong with winning, however yeah. you win. Yes, for sure. uh, we'll take it. We'll you had four it. guys at double figure here today, Coach. Uh, Juan had 12, uh, Diego had 14, Ty had 12, and uh, Diego Villegas had 13. Diego Ornelas on the – yeah, 14. And, uh, and that, that's great. Yeah, that's that's been a lot of the years. We spread the wealth around, yeah. you know, and, and Ty's a good player and, and he he makes a lot of shots and he does a lot for us. But we have a lot of guys that can play basketball sure. and we've, we've got a pretty good basketball team. And so we've got to regroup, yeah. you know, celebrate this one, have some fun, regroup and let's go. Let's go see if we get <laughs> Randall. Well, it's 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 a great win. And again, it's a goal basketball and it sends us into the uh, regional quarterfinals against Randall. Yeah. And obviously they know us. We know them. There's no surprises yep. there. So yeah, uh, we spent we spent a lot of energy uh, against Seminole. I mean, they were they were a yeah. good basketball yeah. team. I mean, that's that's not a that's not an easy win right there. And so sometimes you get those little games that you know it's like oh we come back out and, and we just don't play the same you know. Yeah. But well, hopefully we can get it going with the next couple practices and then. Tuesday, go at it at WT at six o'clock. So we're excited about all right, that. All right, we'll be looking forward to it, Coach. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Hey, thank great, you, Tom. Great appreciate win you. for the white faces. Yes, sir. Today. Thank you. Appreciate you, Coach Brown's two and zero in the playoffs now, too. That's good. <laughs> well, we want to thank Adam and Anastasia again. Adam brought the camera down today to uh, set us up here where where we could uh, interview the players on camera and all. We appreciate that very much. And of course, Coach Kitten's always taking care of us, getting us here and all and we appreciate her very much and her commentary. And we, we're glad you could listen to us back home. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the, the broadcast and the telecast. And proud of the White Faces when you see these guys, and Coach Brown, Coach Bell, Coach uh, Gonzalez, and Coach uh, Garza. Give them a pat on the back and tell them congratulations because uh, they've done a great job and, and really uh, it's a lot to be thankful for. So we're glad you could join us here today. Hope you have uh, – what have you got, Brian? Can't. Go ahead and tell me. We'll play at WT, okay, Tuesday at 6 o'clock against Randall at the box. Uh, it's the first of a doubleheader. Uh, we're assuming the two can other two Canyon schools, if they won today, that'll be what will happen. So 6 o'clock Tuesday night for round three of the playoffs, the White Faces against the Mighty Raiders. And we'll look forward to seeing you there. And if you can't be there, join us for KPAN's broadcast and the telecast here on uh, 
Hereford uh, Cable, or Hereford, not Hereford Cable Vision, Hereford High's uh, Cable that uh, is run by Adam and Anastasia. So, again, thank you guys for joining us today. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you Tuesday night with more Whiteface Basketball. Yeah, okay.